Podcast with Morgan Fogarty. She calls herself an unconventional history teacher. Former Panther Steve Smith is one of her mentors and benefactors. Alexis John Day's controversial celebrity is growing, and she is tonight's get. Alexis John Day's social media celebrity started with a tweet, a thread of tweets, actually. But it was the first tweet that really got people's attention. That tweet, white people can't ever let go of 9-11, a single day in our history, but want you to get over 300 years of racial oppression, provoked death threats, and a conversation. Alexis finished with, so to end this thread, never forget 9-11 for sure, but don't forget the rest of this stuff either. After that, there were people who emailed me saying, you know, I've said that before. I've said get over slavery without understanding fully what I was saying. The controversial conversationalist gained tens of thousands of followers virtually overnight. Now, household names like actress Sophia Bush, Soledad O'Brien, even Anthony Scaramucci follow her. The self-proclaimed virtual educator's verified account bio reads in part, teaching you history you didn't learn in school. Her 9-11 tweet thread, not a one-off. Alexis's delivery is often abrasive. I, I do scare people away, but... People who normally wouldn't be interested in history are interested in it. So do you worry about that, that the people you might be scaring away are people that you could help them learn something different if you had a different approach? Yeah, and that's what other people who have different approaches are for, so that they can appeal to those people. I'm a juicy peach and not everybody likes peaches. She says she is on a mission to share her $40,000 history degree with the masses. More on that in a moment. 23-year-old Alexis, herself a Garinger High School graduate, doesn't just tweet. She's invited to talk to teens and says that experience has been life-changing. We were there the day she talked with kids at Bahailu Academy in Charlotte. She says she is enlightened. Notably, she does not say she is woke. Why do you hate the term woke? Because... With woke, you can fall back asleep. Alexis's education at Ohio State University was paid for by former Carolina Panther Steve Smith. Smith read about her years ago in the local newspaper. She was in high school then, working three jobs to help her family. Smith decided to help her. I've had a few mentors in my life. He's the most akin to who I am as a person. Alexis says Smith, a provocateur in his own right, has never told her to tone it down and doesn't weigh in on her Twitter timeline. You don't have a you don't have a relationship on a public platform. You have a genuine deep I don't even think I follow Steve Dash on Twitter. <laughs> but he follows you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll follow you back, Steve. Alexis has goals bigger than Twitter. She created intellectual media. She's working on a screenplay. She wants to get her master's degree. Her second book is on the way. And she is still tweeting to her 45,000 followers and foes every day. I know I'm abrasive. I know I'm controversial, but it all comes from a good place. Alexis is moving to Atlanta in a couple weeks. She says the change of scenery helps her stay creative. While she's there, she's also working on developing black history kits for kids.